Hey, what's up everyone? Larry here with Interstellar Happenings, your source for universal news and mysteries. Guys, I have a very strange video for you today I'm still trying to figure out. Found on MUFON, the sighting report case 133856. It's a very unique sighting you don't come across on MUFON, but every so often. This incident occurred within the state borders of Kentucky on September 9th, 2023. When a vigilant observer noticed something very unusual out of the corner of his eye, the description of the sighting by the witness states, and I quote, At 10.04 Eastern Time, I was on my rental lot putting inspection stickers on the rental vehicles. When I stepped over to the other truck, I caught a shadow from the sun and noticed an object in the left corner of my eye. A super shiny silver disc type at a high altitude, close to jet level. So I pulled out my phone and started recording. It wasn't until I zoomed in that I saw there were lights rotating around this disc. He also mentioned I took a spell moving about as seen in my video. I'm not sure what to make of that statement except one thing. He's trying to say that some kind of force hit him, causing him to lose control and move around unwillingly. If that's the case, then this would be a whole different level of sighting. With that in our minds now, make sure to watch the whole video here. Don't skip around. It's important to take in every detail of this one. So check it out, guys. appears to be more erratic. You can't see it on here, but it appears to have lights circling around the saucer object now my first opinion probably like many of you out there was thinking well you know what this just doesn't give any context it could be a reflection in a pool or really anything but if you did watch the whole video as i suggested we see the witness actually zoom out giving us context as to just how high this object is we now know whatever this is it's in our airspace hovering at what appears to be I don't know, 20,000 feet. As the witness stated, airliner height, maybe slightly lower. It's an obvious metallic object reflecting sunlight, creating a shimmering effect. That could also be what the witness described as light around the object. The witness also claimed it was rotating, which I was very skeptical about. But when I stabilized it, zoomed in, and slowed it down, it does appear to be rotating, always in the same direction. It has a thin, long shape, but when I snapped some screenshots here, unlike any airliner, I could make out an actual saucer shape. I don't believe this is a plane, guys. Not just because there are no wings observed here or anything like that, but because it maintains the same position in the sky for the entire 1 minute 58 second length of this video. It's too large to be a consumer drone and appears to be at an elevation that most drones that I know of don't reach. What we have hidden in the vault over at Skunk Works is anyone's guess, but it doesn't appear to be anything I know of in the military inventory. This definitely falls for me into the unidentified flying object category. The witness's experience, especially the part where he felt a force acting upon him, is particularly intriguing. 
This could be an indication of advanced technology at play or perhaps a form of communication we just don't understand yet. The design of the object, its shimmering appearance, the rotating lights are unlike anything we have seen. The fact that it remains stationary for almost two minutes rules out most conventional explanations. This combined with the absence of wings or any other recognizable features makes it hard to believe that this is a man-made object. The question remains, why are they here? Are they studying us, observing our progress, or perhaps they're trying to send a message, one that we are yet to decipher? But that's all I have for you guys today. While we still may not have all the answers here, it's essential to keep an open mind. The universe is massive and we are but a mere speck in it. As we continue to explore and understand our surroundings, we must be prepared to accept the possibility that we are not alone. And as we look deeper into the mysteries of the universe, we must remember to always seek the truth, no matter how far-fetched it may seem. So keep your eyes on the skies, your camera ready and steady. I'm Larry, this is Interstellar Happenings, signing off. Take care, guys.